close by Matthias Hamby. Matthias with it off, gets it back. Now a shot by Thompson, a three. Good! He's hit another! Three triples for P.J. Thompson. For almost 40 years, Larry Clisby has been more than just a play-by-play -play announcer. He has become an iconic staple of Purdue's entire basketball program. I want to feel the emotion of the game. I want to be part of the game. And so being Purdue's announcer, I feel what the player feels or the coach feels or a manager or anyone that's associated with the team. He is a very genuine and good-hearted guy that just really cares about Purdue basketball. He's just a part of the culture and uh, the, the way that he talks about basketball, the way that he kind of likes basketball to be played, I think is how Purdue does. They can get me on that bus or on that plane, I'll, I'll be glad to do it because I really enjoy it. He's just a huge impact on his team with his voice and interacts with the guys, you know, outside, outside of the scene. So he's a huge part, you know, that's behind the scenes that a lot of people just don't see. Clisby is affectionately known as Cliz among the basketball community. And off the court, Cliz has made a huge impact on the personal lives of the staff and players alike. Always upbeat, and that uh, just brings a joy probably to each player on the team, having him around. He has so many stories just about when Coach Katie was here and Coach Painter and everything, and he's just hilarious. He cracks me up. He's just a smooth guy, man. He'll come in and he'll just, you know, have his little swag going, a little pep in his step. So, I mean, he just always brings some type of energy, whether it's being cool or whether it's, you know, just trying to get us ready for the game. I'll call him when uh, someone says, I think it's time to quit. I, I don't know who that person will be, you know. So I've got to move down there quicker. P.J. a three on the way. Bullseye! That's the end of the half! It's my town, this is where I'll, I'll be forever, so. Just luck, you know, that's how it was. Robert Dupler, Fast Track News.